Hi, it's Angela from Angela's Paper Arts. Um, today I just wanted to pop in and show you quickly about uh, the new Banners Pick a Punch. You may remember uh, the recently the annual catalogue, we got a lovely labels Pick a Punch, uh, which provided um, the opportunity to punch out six different labels, which could be layered and mixed and matched. Well, with the holiday catalogue that's just been released from Stamping Up, we also have this new Banners Punch. And so you'll find on page 65 of the holiday catalogue, there's the punch uh, there. It works in the very same way as the other one in that uh, it provides for three different sizes of the same punch and you get two different uh, shapes, two different flag shapes. So I have provided here or put together a little sample board of the different shapes so you can see it in real life. There is one, uh, one inch, three quarters of an inch and half an inch and so it's about two and a half centimetres, 1.9 centimetres and I'm not sure, I think it's 0.8 or something of a centimetre for the smallest one. But you can see the different ends that it punches and how they can be layered together. Or you can just punch one end out and um, just have a little banner. So it's up to you how you want to punch them, what sizes you want to use and how you want to mix and match uh, the labels should that be what you want to do so to use the punch is very simple as with all stamping up punches uh, it is closed at the moment so it's nice and flat and easy to store just push the lever and this will now spring open I've got a couple of uh, little strips of granny apple green cardstock prepared and you will see here on the on the bottom of the punch there's that's for the half inch the three quarter inch and the one inch so you've got the three sizes in each channel to give the different ends and to punch all you need to do is slide your cardstock strip with the appropriate size along the channel press down and it's done it's easy as that no effort at all i'm only <laughs> i'm not exactly a tall person so it was very simple and not difficult to do the punching at all to have a look at the other punch shape again just slide it in along the appropriate channel press down and there's the other end so you could have a nice big arrow um, as I showed in my last video when I showed the other um, the other style of punch if you just have a small piece of cardstock you don't have enough to grip and push it all the way in I did make little handles in each size so you can always go back and have a look at that video but um, what I have on the end is my, the multi-purpose uh, Tombow glue because that becomes a repositionable glue when left overnight to dry so this while sticky it won't be a permanent glue on my little handle so I just put the cardstock on there that's nice that is short and then I slide it in and then I've got the extra length with the handle to to get, get some grip so I can punch the shape just remove it and there's your smaller shape done so that's all I just wanted to pop in and show you the new punch the banners picker punch uh, six different punch sizes and two different shapes in the one punch. If you've got any questions, please pop it into the comment below and I'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching. Bye.